Time remapping is arguably one of the most important parts of video editing. It has the power to take your videos from looking like this to looking like this. So in this video, I will show you exactly how you can create this animation in After Effects using time remapping. Also, if there are any content creators watching, check out the top link in the description. My website may have something of interest to you. The first thing you want to do is create a new composition. Mine's 30 seconds long, and I'm gonna name it Time Remap Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want. You also want to import the assets that we're going to be using today. There is a link to them in the description below. I'm going to import the Dark Rock Animation 2, which is a moving dark rock animation, as I guess as it's called. And I'm going to import the four keys that we're going to be using. Uh, press scale to open up the scale and change the scale to something less than 100. I'm going to put mine to 30. 100 is just way too big. Um, so yeah, there we go. All of them are 30. And you want to distribute the keys evenly for, throughout the screen. I'm just going to have the keys going from 1 to 4 from left to right. And if you also want to make it a lot more even, you can just press the align button like I'm doing with all of the keys now. And that will make sure that they're all on the same line, on the same level. Um, the next thing you want to do is press P on keys one to four and keyframe the position at the star. Go forward one second or so and keyframe the position of the key of keyframe the position again and move the key the keys down to below the screen. This will create a transition not an, or an animation of the keys going from below the screen to in the middle, like where we, where we align them to. And so, yeah, this is what you should have so far. It doesn't look great at all. So you want to highlight all of the keyframes, press F9, go into the graph editor and just move the yellow toggles as far as they can go to the left and do this with all of the lines. This will create this much more smooth animation. It's basically the fundamentals of time remapping, and this is what you should have here. So you want to go forward eight keyframes and move the keyframes below, the two keyframes below to that new point eight keyframes of forward. Then do the same, move forward eight keyframes and do exactly what I'm doing on screen. So then you're basically creating a staircase of keyframes. Just make sure there's eight, there are eight keyframes between each one so and then it looks even or it doesn't look a bit weird. And there you go, you should have all of them coming up at slightly different points. Also enable motion blur, that'll make things slightly better. Uh, for two keyframes two to four, not number one, just keyframe the opacity with T and go forward a bit and change it to zero. And then this will make it so, and then the key frame, key one stays and keys two, three, four leave like this. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go roughly in, in between the, uh, the keyframes of the opacity and keyframe the position of the key one and go forward a bit more and keyframe the position again. So, and then key one is roughly in the middle. You can use the align tool to make so it's uh, perfectly in the middle. For some reason, these keyframe the keys already animated as you can see. But if you want to copy it, um, this is what I've got. I don't know why it's automatically animated like that. Strange or automatically uh, time remapped. But yeah, that's what we've got so far. It's quite smooth. I do like it. Um, then press S for the scale and keyframe the scale at one at the normal amount, and then go forward a bit more, and then make it so, and then it gets bigger like this. Uh, then you want to press F9 and do some more time remapping. So what you want to do is you want to basically make a steep line, but and then make it so it's like a peak, like I'm done now. So, and then the, the tallest bit is in the middle like this, and it should make this a lot, a bit more interesting and not so basic. So there you go. It's looking a lot more swift and nice. You also want to press control, um, no, command shift D to cut the clip and import your hand um and just scale it up so and then it like it's big enough to grab the key then just cut it so and then it starts here then what you want to be doing is you want to keyframe the position at the start or with the hand and then make it so and then it starts off screen then go forward a bit and then move it so and then it's going to grab the key and then Go forward a bit, keyframe it again, but don't move anything. Then go forward again and keyframe the hand so and then it moves back off screen. So you should have this. So it goes, comes in, 
and comes out. That's what, and then what you want to do is highlight the first two keyframes, press F9, so and then they are easy eased, and then basically move the yellow toggles again, so and then they create a steep peak. Just play around with it until you get something that looks natural. You don't want it to look really off or move too fast or move too slow. See, I'm going to just create a steep peak so the peak is roughly in the middle here. You see how it moves in faster than comes out again. Then you want to do the same with the keyframes on the right. Press F9 and create another steep peak roughly in the middle using the two yellow toggles. Um, try to make the peaks of the, set of the same size so and then um, it comes in and comes out. It looks quite natural. I like it. I like it. I'm just going to play around with the two. I'm just going to move them closer together so I don't have this instead. Maybe move it a bit closer again so then it's quicker. And then what I want to do is I want to get the position of the key, key one, and then just track it to the hand. So you want to keyframe the position when the hand starts to come back um, and then keyframe the end when the hand is fully gone, but do the same with the key. So then they're tracking the hand and then Notice how they're like kind of moving together now. So it's like the key's being grabbed and just hi highlight the keyframes and then just make sure that the graphs are the same from the hand and the key. Notice how the, the peak is f uh, further away on the hand, which means that we need to move the peak on the key. So and then it matches the hand like this, like I'm doing on screen here. So and then just try to make the graphs look the same. So and then they should, yeah, notice how they move together now. So... It, they look tracked like this. It's like being brought with it. It might take a few attempts to get it to be the same. But notice how it looks nice and smooth now. And this is what we should have so far. It does actually look really nice. You could use this for a YouTube video. And your client or your video would probably be appreciated by your audience. It looks really nice. Um, I'm going to add the glow effect to the keys. Um, I'm going to decrease the gr glow threshold. Do something around 30 and increase the glow radius to 130. I'm also going to decrease the intensity because you don't want it to be too bright. You don't want it to look really annoying to look at. So and then when once you've got the look that you want, you then want to um, you then want to copy the glow by pressing Control C or Command C and then press Control V or Command V on the rest of the keys. So keys four to even the key one, like the other key one the one after the cut so just copy it on everything and you want to do the same to the hand as well you want to add the glow to basically everything apart from the dark rock animation increase increase the glow radius decrease the glow intensity slightly or maybe just play around with it until we get until you get roughly what you want i'm gonna go for something roughly like this and yeah it looks it looks nice everything the glow really adds like a nice texture to everything and just yeah play with it, play around with it until you get roughly what you want you also want to enable motion blur on the hand as well you can do that by pressing that and this is what this should be your finished animation i hope i explained it right i did rush up through a bit if you're a content creator looking to grow and scale your business while also saving a massive amount of time check out the top link in the description below